Jeez, you're probably wondering, yeah, this is the Switch version. I promised I would be doing this, but I'm late. I'm sorry. This is what I get when I don't have money and not enough support. But either way, we return with Skullgirls Encore. Yeah, I still have to get the other two first on the Switch. So without further ado, let us get underway to Black Dahlia. Black Dahlia. Kill her! Mr. Medici, please stay calm. You need to breathe. Get off me, you useless quack! I don't need oxygen! I need someone to kill that alley cat misfortune! Kill that skull girl! And every kill everyone else who dares challenge the DC Mafia! All this yelling. I didn't save your life just for you to give yourself a heart attack. Don't mock me, Talia! You call this state I'm in life! Who do you think can rule my empire now? The incompetent goons who couldn't even hold off one measly! You, the infant of a skull girl! That vulture of Italian is carnival of vipers! Surely you don't think my rotting bones and flesh can restore the Medici Empire? Without the life gem, my youth, <coughs> my mind, my body, they're all slipping away when I flee like a cockroach! Why just hours ago you were begging me to protect you? I can't be in two places at once. Of course, if you let me loose, it could be a different story. What's more important, Lorenzo? Your life or your revenge? Revenge, fool! What need do I have of a bodyguard now? I'm already a walking corpse. Why are you standing here when you could be killing everyone who wronged me? Everyone, you said. Why, that's mo the most delicious job you've given me in ages. Of course, I'm more than willing, but I can promise there won't be collateral damage to your darling city. Spare me, you psychopathic Dalitalia! I don't give a damn what happens to the city! Kill the Skullgirl! Grind her bones into dust! And ask for which fortune! <laughs> don't you dare let her escape! Once I have the life gem back, I'll personally make her pay for every second of life she stole from me! Go on. Make new ready in your playground. Everyone needs a reminder that without the Medici family, without me, there is no law, no peace, and no city. You certainly know how to make a girl happy, Lorenzo. Now don't forget to breathe while I'm out on the town. You can't live forever if you're already dead. Don't you patronize me, you! <coughs> or oxygen. Quickly, he doesn't have long. I I can't believe Mr. Big Boss said we could do anything we want. Ain't that grand? I know you've been waiting this, wanting this for ages, ma'am. It's been so long since Lorenzo let me off my leash. I hardly know what to do. Ma'am, it's a skull girl. You don't get a chance like that every day. I'll admit the thought of a rematch does have me excited. She's gotten so feisty since our first encounter. Maybe this skull girl will finally prove as exciting as the one who gave me my smile. Perhaps there are still thrills left in this world. Let's find out, shall we? Go get him, ma'am. This is a rocket pack we swipe from the egrets. It only goes one way, so one little mistake and bam, your guts will be splattered all over what's left of Medici Tower. I wouldn't have it any other way. Take me to the edge. Marie! Oh dear, is that all? I was hoping for an evening of thrills. What a disappointment. You monster! I'll make you pay! Ah, uh, now that's more like it. Thank goodness this won't be boring. Our last encounter was quite anticlimactic. There were people underneath that tower. I was protecting them. And now? Now they're all dead because of you. Oh, oh, oh. Don't tell me you stopped yourself from throwing the tower at Lorenzo so you could protect all those innocent people. You missed your chance to kill him and now they're all dead anyway. Why, how simply hilarious. How dare you treat people's lives like cheap toys. I'll stop the Medici's and their heartless killers no matter what it takes. So I gotta fight Marie? She is the next character. You can't fight me. Show me your true face. Make it flashy, guys! Let's rock! Exactly! I 
Okay, so how the hell does it work? Wait, so she's basically the final... Okay, I need to check out her move list. Basically, she has Onslaught, she has Order Up, another round, Tea Time, Empower, and has a Counter Strike. She actually has a level 3 and a Taunt. She has a Reverse Shungoku Satsu. Yep, looks like I'm in for the long haul. Yep, this is gonna take a while for me. Is that so? They don't make skeletons like they used to. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Yep. Now she has a teleport. Know your place. My heart. I almost fell. Seriously, you're gonna put me in a loop? You can't give up now. I know. It's about to be the both of us. Time to put on a show. Action. I was from your Seriously? Seriously, why am I having a hard time against Bloody Marie? This is actually the third time I lost her. Seriously, practice her. Yeah, seriously, this is starting to get messed up. Most 
That finally did it. Is that all? What a letdown. They simply don't make Skullgirls like they used to. <sighs> Patricia. What a delightful expression you make in the depths of despair. Maybe you aren't so boring after all. I can still fight. I I won't die until the last Medici burns with me. Really? Let's test that. Let me look into your eyes and see if your resolve is strong enough to defy death and become something more. Oh well, I suppose not. Maybe you should have wished harder. Speak of the devil. No offense, but you didn't do a very good job of granting her wish, did you? She should have asked for a refund. My power is real. Anything you desire is possible with sufficient imagination and sufficient purity. What do you desire, Dahlia? Let me think. Ah, I got it. How about to not see you again for seven years? Now, now, don't trouble yourself. I can grant that wish myself. Die, or whatever it is you do. Do not be so hasty. Is there truly nothing you desire? You live for the thrill of combat. I can make you young again, restore your broken body, and grant you immortality. Truly? You can make me young and whole again? All is possible through my power. Boring. I've already died once, and I'm closer every day to dying again. What part of me could you fix that won't only be destroyed again in the end? An old woman like me knows better than anyone that nothing lasts forever. That's what keeps it all interesting. Strange. You, who has lost so much, only desire to gamble away what little you still cling to. I don't expect you to understand. You'd have to have something to lose and then lose it all to understand how thrilling the experience can be. If what you desire is not power, money, or youth, why not spare me until you find what it is you truly want? I can grant the wishes of even the most twisted heart. The skull heart is begging me for its life? <laughs> Fine, maybe you can entertain me a little longer. After all, you're what everyone but me wants. Perfect for baiting a trap that greedy little kitten misfortune won't be able to resist. Oh, girls! You called, ma'am? Buttercup, Bonnie, Killer, secure the skull heart and take it back to the club. The rest of you, come with me. We're going to send South some invitations and whisper in a few choice ears. I want the whole city to know where to find the skull heart. But ma'am, if we do that, just about every thug, cutthroat, parasite-ridden freaking murderer in the city is going to come heading straight for us. And... You're a genius, Mistress Dahlia. It's just too fantastic. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. There's gonna be so many people to murder. So true, my darling little rabbits. At least I can count on all of you to not bore me. Perhaps you girls aren't as empty of desire. Do you not idolize her? You are in awe of her strength and respect her brutality. One wish and everything she has can be yours. What? Why would we want what Miss Dahlia has? Wear what Miss Dahlia has. Giving Miss Dahlia everything she wants, fighting and dying every day for Miss Dahlia. What else could a girl dream for? Oh, Miss Dahlia. Even her followers have no desire. They have barely more individuality than the Skull Girl's minions. How rare to see humans with such purity of purpose. I'm back, girls. It's been too long since I had a night out in the town. Be in dear and clean the blood off this cape, will you? Yes, ma'am. Sewing mayhem is almost as fun as enjoying it. It won't be long before misfortune falls into our lap. I hope you weren't too bored. Did you have fun tempting my bunnies? Hardly. I thought you had been foolish to trust them, but I see you had no need to fear. They are so empty of desire they hardly seem human. What did you do to them? Why, nothing at all, usually. This world makes an endless supply of girls like them with or without my help. The rest of the Medicis are all too happy to find a use for the broken unfortunates who end up at their door, but they prefer tools with enough left upstairs to manipulate. I, on the other hand, only want the ones who lost everything and still want to live, but don't care if they die. Turning them from broken dolls into adorable assassins is a little hobby of mine. It worked out so well in my case, I can't help but want to share the experience. So this is all you desire? 
to share the nihilistic thrill of combat on the edge of life and death? It's so good to meet someone who understands. So few do but my precious bunnies. Ma'am, someone's here for the skull heart. She looks like an undead minion, but she's pretty strong and she's really, really mad. You! Black Dahlia! I won't! I can't! I'll never ever forgive you! My lady, you must compose yourself. Without the Skull Girl, we cannot sustain ourselves much longer, even to defeat this wretched fiend. The cost is too high. We fight for a greater purpose than revenge. I know that, Leviathan. I know that, but... But... This monster killed Mom and Dad. She's the worst person who could possibly have the Skull Heart. We have to stop her now before she becomes another Skull Girl. Please, Leviathan. I know it's hard, but we have to keep fighting. I can't go back to sleep before we stop her. You're not the ones I want, but I'm quite happy to play with you if you're bored, wherever you are. How dare you! Is that all you have to say, murderer? Should I know you? You killed me! I kill a lot of people. I believe this is Sienna Squiggly Contiello, ma'am. You killed her and the rest of the Contiello family 14 years ago. Oh, Celine's birthday party. I remember now. I'll never forget the most lovely face your mother made when she saw your brain splattered all over her birthday cake. You murderous, malicious matron of misery! I swear, on my honor as a friend and heirloom of the Contiellos, you will pay for what you have done! You are beyond redemption! We won't let the skull heart fall into your hands! Oh, I can't wait to see your face twisted in agony! How will you compare to your dearly departed mother? This is gonna kill my voice, honestly. The thing we fight Marie in the first fight. I won't quit. Ladies and gentlemen, Look at the stage! Sarah. The stage is fantastic! Yeah, she's a zoner. She is a zoner of epic sword. Wait. Who was she again? Yeah, she's a zoner. I'll be blunt. My, you've become someone quite interesting since I last killed you. You almost put up a good fight. No, I can't lose now. You made me a corpse, but I'll never let you hurt anyone again. Power and purpose. I've given you so many gifts, but those stubborn fixations of yours have made you weak. Try again in seven years. If I'm still around, I'll let you have another go at me for being such a good sport. Bloody hell. Did this entertain you? It certainly didn't bore me. But did it fill your heart with joy? How did it compare to the first time she suffered at your hand? I know this was not the challenge you sought. You came nowhere close to that brink you desire. Oh, I do admire your presence. Persistence. What should I wish for then? You are a mere bodyguard. Why not simply take control of the Medici yourself? Surely your with power will come opportunities to find what you seek. I can't imagine a bigger pain in my britches than running the Medici's bureaucracy myself. Think of my precious bunnies forced to give up their Tommy guns for typewriters. I couldn't do that to them. So you fear not defeat, but fading away and losing the edge you crave. Yet the more powerful you become, the harder it is to reach. Your slide into boredom and obscurity will be inevitable unless you correct it soon. You can't make me give up just yet. The night is still young and the entertainment has barely begun. Ma'am, sorry to interrupt, but Mr. Vitaly Medici's here. He says he has something urgent to discuss. Tell him I'm busy. As if Lorenzo's nagging wasn't bad enough, humoring his witless son is even more of a bore. No, no, Dahlia. I know you're a busy woman, but I promise I'll make it worth your while. Sarabella, bring her out. Dahlia too? Come on! What did I do to deserve the starring role in this three-ring circus of whack jobs and killer clowns? Shut your mouth, thief! Well, 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 look at what dragged in the cat. I was the one who caught her. Thank you very much. Don't forget that, Vitaly, or our deal. 
Eliza, wonderful to see you. We missed you at the ballroom brawl last Thursday. It was a rather grisly one. I'm sure you would have enjoyed it. I've been so busy with charity work recently, I haven't had the time to swing by. I do so love the entertainment you provide, but pleasure can come after business. And what sort of business do you have for me? It seems you already have the prize in hand. Isn't this the opportunity to curry dear, dear daddy's favor, Vitaly? I thought you want to hand her over personally. What if I wasn't satisfied with father's favor? What if I knew the real reason he's so desperate to find this petty thing? Ah, I see you're not entirely stupid. He's aged gracefully. So gracefully, only a fool would think it was natural. Can you understand what it's like to become older than my own father, while he still doesn't deem me fit to rule? I'll age into senility and death while still languishing under his shadow. It's a tragedy to think of Vitaly's wasted talent. I think he'll do a much better job than that decrepit has been. This city is due for a new leader that understands the nuances of power. Why, Eliza, I didn't know you had such a soft spot for Vitaly. What did he offer you exactly? I'm merely doing my civic duty, returning stolen goods. Vitaly offering me a little trinket in control of a city's blood banks with a generosity that took me completely by surprise. Oh, of course, my dear. That trinket he promised you wouldn't happen to be the skull heart, by any chance. I wouldn't have accepted, but he simply insisted on it. What a generous man Vitaly is. So you get the skull heart, Vitaly gets the life gen, and Lorenzo gets a bullet. What do I get? Vitaly and I have big plans, big enough to entertain even you, far grander in scale. Then Lorenzo could ever dream? A generous proposal, but it's ever so predictable. I could have recited your script word for word the moment you walked in the door. Don't be stubborn, Dahlia. Name your price. I can match your wildest dreams. I know you have no true loyalty to my father. Poor stupid Vitaly. What a waste. If only Marcus had more flexibility in his moral compass, he might have come up with a proposal worth accepting. Marcus? I have accomplished far more than that cowardly, and you've lost twice as much as you've gained. Smart leaders play the long game, and you don't have any room for the big picture in that inflated head of yours. Anyways, if the Medici's power is secure, what's left for me? New Meridian's a fun playground because we have to fight for it every day. I can't imagine how boring it would be with you lording over this city. You're twisted! You actually like all this carnage? If Vitaly was in charge, the whole city would be better off. We'd have peace. This isn't about fun. I trained you well in combat, but you're still so naive. That's how Vitaly likes them, I suppose. It'd be entertaining to see your face when you realize the truth, or perhaps you'll surprise me. Being defeated by my own student would be an amusing way to go. How adorable. Are you actually picking a fight with us? You've lived for a long time playing smart, Dahlia. Don't be stupid. I thought you understand me better than that, Eliza. You always struck me as an ambitious sort, but here you are slinking around with the lesser of two evils. Disappointing. Perhaps I should show you how I earned the name of the Crimson Scourge. Please do. I've always wanted a chance to paint the town red with you. My throw will kill me, I swear. Now I gotta fight both Eliza and Sarabella. I've always wanted a chance to get personal. Cameras rolling and action! This is like a movie for some reason. Ah, he got me on a grab. Big love. Stop that! That takes care of one target. That's gonna get painful. Enjoy it while it lasts. Ah, great, I lost. 
That's not how this game ends. Goodbye and good riddance. This requires a lot of patience. Give it up, you wretches, Hatchbin! As long as there's blood to drink, I am immortal. I'm positively brimming with youth compared to you, Eliza. I've known for a while your beauty regimen is delightfully unconventional. Ha! <sighs> you knew my power and still thought you could beat me? I'll just take a sip and- What? Why isn't my blood returning to me? All down the drain. I won't bore you with the details of the plumbing, but this stage cleans the blood away in a jiffy. This isn't enough to kill me, Dahlia. I haven't survived for ages to die at the hands of a child like you. I have been disappointed if it was that easy. In the course of my long career, I've had to get creative when disposing of my more entertaining enemies. When all else fails, there's one standby that almost always works. Girls, see how hot she likes it, will ya? She got incinerated! I see she likes it around 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, Eliza, how feisty. Nothing less would do for you, would it? Ever since we first met, I've always wondered what expression you make in your last moments. Ah, the face of a dying immortal is everything I dreamed it would be. Dahlia, be reasonable. I can give you a better deal. You can keep the store hard. You can have the troop, vice versa, sir, Bella, do whatever you want with it, but just listen. No. Please take a good last look, Sarah Bella, at the real face of this man. No! The tally! Ah, that felt wonderful. I've been waiting to do that for ages. Ma'am, bad news. Miss Fortune is gone, and she stole the skull heart, too. Oh, my dear Sarah Bella, I couldn't even trust you to keep your quarry restrained. You need a thorough re-education, it seems. Go lock her up for a bit. We can't let her stew while we reacquaint ourselves with that little thief. Perhaps I underestimated that feral, I wonder. Is it pure luck, or is that feist little kid more interesting than I gave her credit for? If you destroy me, there'll be no way to see your precious family ever again. Shut up! A bunch of corpses ain't family! I don't need you! The whole world would be better off if I smash you to dust! Now, now, we can't have you breaking my new toy. Dahlia! Damn it, I thought I had a bigger lead. I'll take care of you after I smash this stupid thing for good. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, kitten. It's keeping me entertained, so I prefer the both of you back in one piece. You're a... yeah, right. I remember exactly how many pieces you left me in last time. Don't try me. I wish you were dead, and I'd love to be the one to make it happen. That can be a rain. But I don't wish that on you. So don't get any ideas. You know running won't do you any good, Miss Fortune. Remember what happened the first time you tried? Yeah, chopping me up and throwing me in the river didn't work out so great for you either. Now did it? You can't keep this cat in the bag. I'm so glad you mentioned dismemberment. Since that was so unsuccessful last time, I've been spending my late hours thinking of some entertaining alternatives I might use on you. <laughs> me and my big mouth. 
but I'm not going down without a fight. Music to my ears. It would have been so boring if I didn't get to take you back personally. Sheesh. Black Doll, you're sadistic. I simply can't wait. Again and again and again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's show. Thankfully, this game also has rollback netcode. Is that so? Oh, you think you're clever! Bye bye! Black Dahlia's crazy. This is positively fascinating. No matter how much I smash you to pieces and cut you to ribbons, you bounce right back good as new. I should find fighting you terribly frustrating, but for some reason I just can't get enough. Damn it! Don't toy with me. I don't care how long it takes. I'll make you pay for what you did to my family. Oh, you want me to make me pay that badly? Why wait? You have a solution to all your problems right in your hands. The Skull Heart? <laughs> you want me to make a wish on this thing. You're one crazy old lady. Go ahead. It just might make you a bit more interesting than you are now. Two Skull Girls in one day will be quite thrilling. I... I'll do anything to stop you. But I won't do that. Even if you beat me. Even if you kill me for real. I'm not letting you or anyone else have this stupid skeleton factory. Oh, not on my watch. Insipid mortal, I could have granted your every desire. Your family would have lived again if you had only wished upon me. Damn it! Shut up! You can't even decide which body part you want to look like. Don't try to make me decide how to use you. I can't stop missing my family, but I can't undo the past either. The good and the bad made me who I am today. That's how the Fishbone Gang raised me, to challenge the future head on. I have new friends to protect, and like hell I'm gonna risk them for a wish on some moldy cursed skull. This is unacceptable! Has every mortal lost their mind? Poor little thing, it just isn't your day. So, Misfortune, despite suffering the agony of dismemberment and the brutal heartache of losing your loved one, you still cling to your morals. Oh, darling, oh, darling, I'd rather like this attitude of yours. I wonder how long it can last. How many times can I kill you before you give in and reveal how boring you really are? Can you do it without your precious immortality? Can you stay interesting all the way to the very end? Sorry, lady, I've got places to be. I'm not going to be the sideshow in your freaky death circus. Dumb luck isn't going to save you this time, darling. Are you sure? I'm pretty lucky. We've been here a while and everyone in New Meridian is looking for the skull heart. Oh, 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 oh goodness, are you truly betting some dim-witted hero or thug is going to swoop out of the sky and accidentally save you just by sheer coincidence? I haven't had a laugh like this in ages. Huh, I guess it is kind of funny. What if it actually happened? You'd feel pretty dumb, wouldn't you? Beep boop, skull heart energy detected, capturing suspected skull heart bearer. What? Seriously? I was joking! Wait, why do you look like me? Target 1 and Target 2 acquired, executing high velocity departure protocols. Oh no you don't! No one is that lucky while I'm around! Target 1 lost, error, launch sequence cannot be cancelled, lift off commencing! <laughs> One million deaths won't be enough for you, Misfortune! I can't believe her blind luck! Back to square one yet again! <laughs> what is this feeling? Lost again to nothing more than a freak coincidence! But I can't stop... smiling! We've been had, girls! Until Misfortune starts living up to her name, we've got our work cut out for us! I'm positively furious! Scour the city for any leads on who or what could have made such a thing! On it, ma'am. Miss Dahlia's in such a good mood now. I wonder what happened. 
Otmo, can I get your eyes on something? Yes, ma'am. I managed to blow this chunk off the thing that snatched Misfortune away. Take it apart and see if you can't find out who built it. Righto. All of his junk sorted out in a jiff. You are truly enjoying yourself. Of course I am. It's been a long time since my dance card was so full and the best is yet to come. I suppose to something like you, a seven year blip is nothing. For me, the limbo between thrills is nothing short of agony in itself. I am well acquainted with the desperation of mortals. In fact, one could say it is extricable from my very existence. Yet even after ages upon ages, I have fallen short of finding a mortal whose desires are yet sufficient to complete my purpose. Such time weighs upon even a timeless existence such as myself. Ah, kindred spirit. I had never expected to have so much in common with a heart so heartless. We're both dependent on humans to either surprise or disappoint us, wholly apart from their existence, yet without them we have nothing. You speak as if you aren't one yourself. Do you think of me as a human? I believe I crossed the line some time ago, both physically and otherwise. You are fascinated by others, but have, have no desire to make a wish for yourself. What a fascinating form of selflessness. A demon, not unlike a saint. A saint would give you the same problem, wouldn't they? Someone with a truly pure heart would never make a wish on you. Heh, <laughs> you are most clever than most who make wishes, but such a paradox defines my existence. Funny I should have a reason to remember Celine Contiello today. She was as pure and gentle a soul as one could find in this world, but in the moment she wished on you, I saw a woman so desperate to cling to the family and life she knew that she was willing to gamble at all. I would love to see a face like that again. It would be the closest thing to seeing what my own face looked like the moment before a precious skull girl of yours made it into my permanent smile. This is why you are drawn to misfortune. For all she's been through, for all she's endured, she has not changed. She has not made a wish. When I fell over that break myself, I realized there was nothing in this world that mattered but seeing that moment again. Misfortune is still clinging to the edge, but she just hasn't been pushed far enough. Eventually, she'll see the true face of this world, and when she does, she'll make the same face I have. Yet suppose she remains true? You think it's possible? You're surprisingly optimistic about human nature. The possibility remains. You would not bet if the outcome was certain. In fact, you longed to be proven wrong, did you not? For reasons even you do not understand. Reading my mind again? Only your heart. <laughs> well, if it turns out that misfortune exceeds both our uh, expectations, I will make a wish on you. Amusing. But you have no wish, do you not? You never know. Perhaps I'll think of something that surprises us both. Sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but the guest list is filing up and they all want a piece of the skull heart. I suppose this will have to do for entertainment. While Otomo finds a lead of misfortune, Bucky, please introduce our guests. Roger, ma'am. First up is Valentine. She's a nurse, she's a ninja. She's an ASG agent as deadly as she is thematically inconsistent. If it isn't the infamous Black Dahlia, I heard one of the old ASG models fell in with the Medici. But that was decades ago. Still kicking, I see, but not for long. Interesting. Let's see if the labs have come up with something that can compete with an old model like me. Hey, listen up, idiots. You actually want to live past the night? Then squab stop squabbling and pay attention because... Another one? Goodness, she's noisy. This girl mostly matches this, the description of Marcus's daughter, a schoolgirl named Philia. Something's off about her, though. Probably the parasite infecting her hair and brain. For the last time, it's F-U-K-U-A. Man, I told that hourglass wasted chick this was a waste of time. No one ever listens until it's too late. Yes, yes, we've heard it before. She's a real underdog, but don't underestimate her. Now, I don't know how this last one got in through the door, but this is the detective, Big Man. A smooth cyborg with a heart of gold. Oh, I remember this one. Officer Birdland, how have you been since your early retirement? Now there's a tune I haven't heard in a while. Wouldn't mind if I never heard it again, but fate has a funny way of reprising itself when you least want to hear it. Still on the same beat. Don't you ever tire of it? A thankless job and they keep churning out new miles to replace us. Why not give my side a try? No thanks, Dahlia. I don't think the two of us will ever jive on our definition of fun. I like the beat I'm on just fine. Poor Ben. You still don't understand, even after all these years. Like the rest of those naive ASG agents who thought defeating the Skullgirl would make them a hero. Never, nearly dying cured me of that naivety and replaced it with something far more fulfilling, as it should have for you. I've always wondered if you had a hand in my early retirement. No room for a good cop in a city dirty with Medici money. Still, I didn't end up anything like you. 
then you're a fool and you'll be the one until you die for the last time. Still caught up in romantic fantasies about good and evil when the only thing that matters is the life or death edge of combat. I deluded myself into thinking there was any sort of difference between the two until the Skull Girl ripped my body apart and taught me my true self. That Skull Girl was free. She didn't couch her pleasure in the self-justification of the wicked or righteous. She just took what she wanted, living on the edge of life and death. That's the truth of this world. The only difference is who buckles underneath it, and who has the strength to overcome this world with their will. Nice monologue. Can't say I care about any all that, though. No offense, but I know where I stand. Sounds to me like you're the one who isn't quite sure. I don't need a reason to do the right thing, but if you don't see those faces twisted in fear, doubt sets in, don't it? Maybe you start to think you're just another too big goon, goon with delusions of grandeur and not the true face of evil. Interesting deduction, Detective. Why don't I test that resolve of yours? We'll see if that hypothesis tr proves true. Listen to me! Damn it, you all have to hear yourselves talk, but when the edge of the world comes, you won't be... Goodness, sweetie, how you go on? I'm beyond bored. This is gonna take forever. Alright, it's your lucky day. I'll fight all three of you at once. Maybe then you'll actually stand a chance at entertaining me. All too happy to bring you into retirement. Geriatric care isn't my specialty, but I'm something of a generalist. The rest of you better keep up. I've got a bigger bone to pick with you than her, Valentine, but I'll let it slide until after we clean this up. Wait! Enough. I have time for fighting, not squabbling. My voice box is gonna die out, I swear. It's three against one. I'm something of an amateur surgeon myself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ladies and gentlemen, it's... Let's get it done. Oh, you can delay it? Ah, oh, great. That's the end. Damn. I always hoped it would end with a crescendo, not a dirge. Poor Ben. You really should have retired when you had the chance. Call me sentimental, but no matter how old I get, I never get tired of fighting for what's right. I certainly haven't tired of fighting, but I no longer have that insufferable attitude you do. I don't know how you've held on to it this long. Now here I thought your favorite thing was watching what people do when they're just about to fall off the edge. It's a given some of them will turn out like me instead of like you. You can't fool me. You're afraid. Won't it be bitter to die not knowing what'll happen next? You never know when the show's over. Woke up thinking it might be today anyway. You've got whatever you've got. Me, I've got a little bit of hope. He's boring me. Get him out of my sight! Ma'am, are you sure? I'll let you postpone your date with destiny, Ben. I don't want you to die before I wipe that expression off your face. And clean up the rest of these while you're at it. One day he'll get it. Everyone will get it. I'll make them understand. Boss, sorry to interrupt, but I've analyzed the parts from that machine you fought earlier. It seems they've been made by some chap in the ASG labs. Really? How did you find that out? I dare say, someone's probably chuffed about their work. Many pieces have Lab Zero, H-V-Y-I-N-D, etched into them. Lab Zero. There is no Lab Zero. Ma'am, that ninja nurse's radio's ringing. She was an ASG agent, wasn't she? 
Well, now's the perfect chance to see if they got a certain feral kitten in their hands. Give it here. They've changed the model since the last time I used one of these things. Why wouldn't that be the right button? Um, uh, ma'am, I think the green button is that you take care of it. I haven't the time to fuss with it. Of course, ma'am. Live in three, two, one. Valentine, where are you? You were supposed to run if it would robo fortune a half hour ago. I'm sorry, the nurse is clearly unavailable. If you like what's left of her, I can arrange for her to be delivered in one of her own body bags. Who is this? How did you get this frequency? Have I been so easily forgotten? I was once the pride and joy of the ASG. Ah, now I understand. Valentine failed. I presume this is Black Dahlia? Oh good, I'm glad we don't waste have to waste time with introductions. You know who I am and I don't care who you are. You have something that belongs to me and I have something you want. I have a pharaoh with an extremely high tolerance for damage I previously used as a template for one of my less reliable minions. If you want her more than the Stullhard, we have a deal. One of my girls will provide you the coordinates. Be here in one hour. This is perfect, ma'am. You have the chance to get back Mitch Fortune, kill whoever kidnapped her, and keep the Skullheart too. It'll be a perfect double cross. Wait, what if he already knows we're going to kill him? Maybe it's just what he wants and we're heading right into a trap. Come on, don't be stupid. Obviously he knows we knows and knows we knows he knows, so we let his guard down assuming that we know he knows what he know he knows. Oh, I get it. Wait, no I don't. Miss Dahlia, what's the real plan? Girls, this is why I always tell you to keep things simple. Why waste effort trying to divine if this is a trap when there's a much easier answer? What's that, ma'am? We'll just kill him the second we get what we want, no matter what he does. Oh, Miss Dahlia, you're a genius! Right on time. I was somewhat hoping I might see Dr. Geiger again. After all, one of his own former agents about to deliver the Skullheart to ASG Labs on a silver platter. Unless the good doctor is no more? Dr. Geiger's status is of no concern to those who are no longer active agents, Dahlia. You gave up your past a long time ago, and quite gladly, as I recall. Here I was hoping we could have a friendly chat. Do you have a skull heart? Do you have misfortune? Robo fortune, if you would. Presenting trade offer! I really didn't want to do this twice in one day. I didn't even want to do it once! I confess to some degree of suspicion as to why you believe this exchange worthwhile. An alley cat for a wish granting device is a trade so generous you'll forgive me for not assuming you do not intend to kill me immediately afterwards. Prayerish thought, the Medici reputation is at stake. The Medici reputation is what I'm worried about. I cannot make an exchange without knowing the full terms of the deal. It's not an intelligent decision, you understand. Is it really so strange that I want an exceptionally interesting plaything? A man of your intelligence should be able to guess what motivates me. I am more familiar than you know with the illogical desires that motivate you. So familiar, in fact, that there must be something exceptional about this specimen for you to go to these lanes for her. Her combat ability is surprising when concerned, but otherwise mediocre. I have, in fact, been observing this one for a while. Valentine recommended her as a blueprint to test an upcoming project of mine, but creating a robot duplicate to surpass her was a trivial challenge. I fail to see what purpose the original now serves. What the Medici want, the Medici get. That is all the logic you need to understand, darling. So this is Medici business? I knew the interest was not simply personal. Lorenzo's bodyguard is willing to trade an artifact he has covered it for years for a two-bit thief. Even if you are not motivated by sound decision-making, he is. Then why don't you tell me what's so special about her, but make it snappy. Lorenzo would do more than kill to get her back, so I wouldn't make him wait much longer. I assume that has something to do with her inability to die. A very rare trait. One so rare that I can think of only one other individual in New Meridian who shares it. Someone who has avoided assassination an implausible number of times while remaining in the prime of his life for a suspicious number of decades. Oh dear, and I've spent years making sure there isn't enough evidence left behind for anyone to discover the truth about Lorenzo. Be glad there are few intelligences of my caliber in this city. I have more than a passing interest in life extension, for reasons I will not elaborate on. So misfortune stole. That explains what, but not how. She has nothing of value on her person. Unless... That's it! Robo Fortune, run trash compactor sequence! Engaging! The Life Gem! Ah, a Life Gem. Of course, but how does she manage to assimilate it into her flesh? This certainly meets Merit's further research. You killed her. Apologies for depriving you of the pleasure. It was simply more efficient. 
I'm afraid that this alters the terms of our deal. A pity this could have been solved with a little honesty earlier. This is not the outcome I expected. Misfortune has no chance of exceeding our expectations now. You. You fool! What? I was going to kill her. I was going to be the one who saw her face as she suffered. Boring, boring, boring. It's all so boring. You impertinent brain in a jar. You can't imagine what you've deprived me of. A short-sighted fool like you could never understand. I won't even enjoy this, but I'm going to have to take my time so you can properly understand what you've stolen from me! Now that's the Black Dolly I remember. I assumed a battle to the death would be unavoidable. Luckily, I've come prepared. Painwheel, RoboFortune, this ASG project's long overdue for decommissioning. Get rid of her and bring me the skull heart. I swear, these story modes get longer and longer. Foe without feel. This is hardly worth the effort. This battle is all in the mind. Showtime! Let's go! Dying. Yeah, you will kind of look better at dying. Anyway. What's no, with her all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait, I gotta see what her other moves are. No, that's not it. Yeah, she has tea time. She also has the empowered normal, which is interesting. The last call, but she also has girls' night. Good riddance. Could I miscalculate this power? No, stay away. My decades of research cannot die with me. What will satisfy you, sadist? Sadist? None of this gives me joy. When I carve up your precious gray matter piece by piece, then you'll understand what it means to truly lose something. I should have left you to die when I had the chance. I saw a potential in you I would have been wiser never see realized. Do I know you? My memory isn't what it used to be. And neither will yours when I'm finished. I do not fear death. Losing my research is another matter, however. If you will not listen to reason, I am prepared to accept a temporary setback. Farewell, erstwhile prototype. Assuming you will survive this, I will ensure my next body is sufficiently prepared to deal with you permanently. What? Ma'am! Miss Dahlia, you all right? <coughs> oh dear, I should have expected a trick at the last moment. I'll accept the promise of a future playdate in return for you ruining this one. Not a fair trade, but what could be these days? Bunnies, inform Lorenzo we have the life gem. Not the outcome either of us wished for, yet you succeeded. This disappointment is all too familiar. If I couldn't bear it in stride, I wouldn't have lasted this long. Perhaps the days this world can surprise me are no longer. With my own power, I've claimed victory once again, and once again, I am left with nothing. Yet, if I could imagine a wish that would fulfill this gnawing desire, I might be tempted to make one at this point. I'm almost as desperate as that young girl you so recently tempted. The wishes of the desperate are predictable and foolish. However, if you were to make a wish, Dahlia, I wonder if it would be more interesting than another desperate girl hoping her selfishness might make the world right again. Well done, Dahlia. What? No cutting quip? I gave you permission to paint the town red, and for what I've heard, you've all but ran out of paint. Are you not sufficiently entertained? The evening started out so promising, but by the end it was simply routine. The price of being too good at your job, Dahlia? You've surpassed my expectations once again. I barely met my own. 
Insatiable. Not a bad trade in someone like you. Cheer up, old girl. With my life gen return and the Skull Art in my possession, we can set our sights much higher than we ever have before. It's time to take a shot at the throne of the Canopy Kingdom, and from there, who knows? Chances for you to test your limits over and over. After things have settled down here, of course. Perhaps I'll have a chance to die in combat before I die of boredom. Is that truly the most entertaining future you can imagine, Dahlia? Business as usual. Back to being a dog so rarely let off her leash. He let you free for the first time in years, and it was a string of one disappointment after another. Perhaps the world simply no longer has the chance to surprise me. You do not believe this. Are you not still alive at this moment? Continue to take one step after another, despite your heart wreath and what other humans might call despair? Does that, does that not prove you still have hope? Dahlia, where is the gem? Stop mumbling that skull. Of course you can go back to Lorenzo and continue to let time take your chances from you. But surely, given all the risks you take, why not take a chance on me? Your life gem, Mr. Medici. Ah, finally, finally! <laughs> there is no man, woman, or force on earth that can best Lorenzo Medici. You certainly are persistent. What makes you think my wish will be so entertaining? She who is pure of heart will have her wish granted by the skull heart. Though many whisper this, None understand what purity truly is. Wishing cheats the outcome, undoes the good it sets out to do. How can a world be fixed by such intervention? It cannot. You must bridge this contradiction. Oh, and the skull heart as well. It might be more trouble than it's worth, but I can put it to use somehow. You're different, Dahlia. You have no desire to save others, nor do you harbor selfish material desires. You feel true ecstasy when mortals overcome their pain and become stronger than ever before. Their triumphs and failures are both beautiful to you, and you do not desire to fix them. Dahlia, pay attention. Don't make me lose my patience. You understand this world is a lie, and the only truth that which is gambled out of it every day by the struggle of mortals. On the billion to one chance that you understand the truth of this world, all I ask is this. Black Dahlia, what is the pure wish of your pure tempered soul? Dahlia, what's taking so long? The Skull Heart, now! Shut up! I'm thinking, Lorenzo! Why? Aren't you dead? All right, the life gem, I'll take that. Now that's finally taken care of, don't interrupt me when I'm thinking. Ma'am? I know, dear, it's awfully inconvenient, but do keep quiet for a moment while I sort this out, or you're next, understood? I want to face the truth of myself and know I was right to throw everything away, to live for nothing but the thrill and know that nothing else exists. And I want everyone to face that truth and come away knowing what their true selves are. I like to see the smile that was carved in me on every face so they know and understand who they really are and what this world really is. Everyone, not just yourself. It has no meaning if it's just for me, does it? I want everyone to know the same joy I do. Yes, yes, that is enough for me. The day you wish for exists. I was born solely for the purpose of bringing it about. I have no joy, no hope, and no purpose but this one, yet consider me entertained. Goodbye, Dahlia. I am no longer needed in the world you wish into existence. Your pure heart's wish is granted. Come and witness the world's true shape. Oh, what new expressions will I see? Every moment is glorious. There's a surprise around every corner and death is everywhere. Isn't Miss Dahlia so happy? She's so gorgeous when she, when she smiles. <laughs> die, 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 die! This is it, girls. Now, how long can we last? Don't wear yourselves out too quickly. We have to last at least until the goddesses descend. I'm sure to die, but what if I'm a match for them too? Oh, I can't wait to see. That's it? That's the ending? I'm pretty shocked by this. But yeah, Black Dahlia. She's a zoner, but she's very tricky to work with. I won't lie to you. She really is tricky to work with, but I will not lie to you right here. It is not easy. It really is. You got to put a lot of time and effort into it. She has a level three. She even has a taunt. She even has a reverse go Shingo Kusatsu. But yeah, this is more story of anything else. But I'll admit... 
Black, um, Black Dahlia is kind of fun. There is one character left, which is Marie. Look forward to that when she drops. I apologize if this is late, but yeah, that's going to be it. That's it for Skullgirl's second encore. I apologize if it's the Switch version, but I have two versions, Switch and PS4. Let's only hope they add voice acting for the dear Black Dahlia for her story. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to the like button. It means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I'll see you next time. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. Behind you! Wait, there's ammo over there! Come on, use your grenades! What are you saving them for? Slow down. Stop backseating. This is the last level! Come on, you're about to beat it! Careful, don't... What happened? You just get into the good part. You kicked the console. What? That time it couldn't have been me. You were the one sitting next to it. The timeline had a lot of promise too. Please tell me you stayed before that fight. I don't know if I can find a one in a billion possibility so easily again. You're kidding me! I've never seen how it ends and we were so close. Come on, just start a new game. We can beat it this time. That game gives me motion sickness. I'm taking a break. Something relaxing this time, like an RPG. Please, no! RPGs are so boring! You always stop right at the end game and grind out side quests instead of just finishing it. Just thinking about it makes me antsy. I can't stand being cooped up playing games. I'm going out! Out? There's nowhere for us to go, as long as we're stuck here. I'm not gonna let that stop me! This prison is getting weaker every day. Someday there'll be a crack big enough for me to slip through. Besides, what kind of sister would I be if I made you do all the work? So come on, it'll be fun. Maybe. Later. Sue yourself. But don't you want at least a peek at the real world? It's more interesting than RPGs. I miss it, but... I don't know. Hey, don't sulk! I know you tried your best! We're getting closer! One day, we'll walk in the sun together again and no one will be able to stop us. I miss the sun, too. But if you've seen what's waiting after the credits, you wouldn't want the game to end either. Is it really so bad to be stuck here, if we're stuck here together?